Regardless, as you meet your other half in college, uh, it still amazes me that we are in the same side, tiny town for so long without crossing paths. After six long years, I started to lose hope and in turn started to lose myself. Then I came across you. I remember the first time I saw you in class. I knew you were something special, something different. Or not even I could predict the love that would feel for you one day in a relationship and life that we built together. You allow me to be myself, except for who I am, good and bad. Nothing is ever perfect. But you know, when love is real, when despite the rough times, with the recent Super Bowl, <laughs> I can't wait to see you and stand by and stand, and I can't wait to stand being away from you. And you have found my best friend, my soulmate, my wife, my future mother, and my children, not including him. I vow to always encourage you, to inspire you, to laugh at you, to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle, to always kiss you goodnight, and be the best husband, father, and most important friend that I can. You have already given me two of the greatest things in the world. Your love, your friendship, and now a third your heart, as I just thought of it. I look forward to continuing to build our lives together. You deserve so much out of this world, and it's my only hope and worry that I can live up to the standards of providing the life which you so rightfully deserve. I love you so much. We just spend the rest of our lives together. And now it's time for me to ask you the question. Do you, Evan, take Grant uh, Cambry to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish all the days of your life? Yeah. Cambry, you have also written vows for Evan. I remember the morning after our first date, I called my mom and told her. He opened the door for me just like daddy. I know at that point we're the one. I had been searching for my Prince Charming and I finally found him in you. Everything is so effortless with you. You're my best friend, the love of my life, my soulmate, and every day you show me how loving you are and how amazing of a father you are to our buggy and will be to our children. You show me more love in one day than I could ever ask for. I'm so thankful that you try to be romantic and do things just for me because you know I like them. I vow to always love you during football season and to always set up your fire truck nebby when your lung hurts even if you don't want to. And to always kiss you goodnight. I will always pursue you wholeheartedly because even after I do, I want to grow in our love and always make you feel the butterflies like on our first date when we drank margaritas and ate tacos. <laughs> and a sea of people, I will always search for you, and wherever you go, I'll go, and wherever you stay, I'll stay. And now I'm going to ask you, do you, Cambry, take Evan to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish all the days of your life? I do. Gentlemen, may I have the rings, please? I got this. I got this. It's a tough one. I know. I love it. Go for The ring is an ancient symbol, perfect and simple. It has no beginning and has no end. It is a circle for love that is given comes back round again. Your rings are precious because you wear them with love. They symbolize your commitment in marriage. They remind you of who you are, where you've been, and where you are going. As you wear them through time, they will reflect not only who you are as individuals, but also who you are as a couple. 